Well, the heat is already impacting businesses, so we found a local spot where the owner says it is just too hot for her employees to actually work. Q13 News reporter China Green is in Olympia for us. She spoke with that owner and a worker today to learn more about the decision. I'm at Van's Burger in Olympia, and yes, it is hot out here, and this sign says it all. Closed Saturday due to high heat, might even leave a little early on Friday. I talked to the owner here, and she says they haven't closed because of the heat since 2009, and she says working through the heat is just not worth it. They just have little sheds that they cook in, and I can't even imagine how hot it would be in there. On the side of Yelm Highway, you've probably seen Vans Burger and Sweet Spot. We have people that wait an hour and a half, two hours to get up here. It's been open for 21 years. The little kids ordering in the back seat, and then one day he comes in and he's driving, and the next time he comes in, he's got a date, and the next time he comes in, he's got a baby in the back seat. But Saturday, they'll be closed for business because of the heat. You can never really prepare yourself enough for when that heat really starts kicking in. For the first time in 12 years. I don't think it would be safe. I, I think I would maybe last like an hour and a half with a good attitude and then like another 20 minutes with a bad attitude and be like, um, okay, I'm done with this. The National Weather Service issued an excessive heat watch for Olympia starting Friday with Saturday expected to reach 101. Owner Erica Van Leerope says it is not worth working through it. When people's health is at risk, you know, we're, you know, working strenuously in 100 degree heat isn't good for anybody and it's definitely not something to look forward to or fun and we like to keep it fun. Vans Burger is equipped with an AC and exhaust fan, but manager Courtney Reese says it doesn't make it any easier. It's hard. It's really warm. Like you feel we have a sunroof in there, so you feel the sun beating down on your neck and then you have the few kind of like the heat from the fryer coming towards you. And then, you know, the relief that comes in is when that breeze comes in on the window. You're like, oh, that two seconds is just really nice. Besides keeping her employees safe, Erica says the harsh temps take a toll on the equipment. It's just hard on hard on the ice cream machines. They're just running constantly trying to keep the ice cream frozen. As for the customers, we don't have like a you just lost yourself a customer or we don't really have anybody like slander us or anyone any really negative. Most people are like, well, I hope you're OK. I hope everyone stays safe. They tell us they understand the business decision. If they're going to have any kind of line outside. It's, it's going to be miserable. So I really I don't I feel for them. I definitely feel for any business that's got to be operating in the heat. Now, on the business side of things, the owner tells me that she orders her inventory in advance. So she simply just didn't order for Saturday, expecting for them not to work. But she will be paying her employees for a full day that was worked. In Olympia, China Green, Q13 News.